what up YouTube today I made myself a, a custom cold air intake there's really not a whole lot to it it's really really simple in the past I had a um, I had a K&N you know they call it a fuel injection performance kit I had that on here I paid about two hundred and forty dollars for that when Ram charges was still around for anybody that's in the, the Metro Detroit area knows who Ram charges is they uh, they were a performance speed shop around here and that was in 2004 or 2005 that was the first modification that I did to this car but uh, believe it or not this car used to have a uh, an SS hood on it and it was a functional SS hood so it had the ducts that came here and what happened was the ducts were hitting my cold air intake they were hitting the top of it it was making the hood prop up so when you look here the hood looked raised up and it just looked really bad I mean the hood was like fiberglass it weighed nothing it had no weight to it like a steel hood but anyways I wasn't about to spend another 250 bucks so I just spent forty dollars I spent twenty on this this is a brand new Spectre air filter I got this at advanced auto parts what you can do is you can search for a Spectre air filter on their website you put it in the cart and then you use a coupon code visa and just make sure that your your basket total is thirty bucks and they'll knock ten dollars off so you can get thirty dollars worth of stuff for twenty and then you can do in-store pickup and then over there I bought some PVC comes in ten feet sections that's three inch and then a ninety degree elbow and when you go to the store you'll see all the different varieties that they have this is like a thinner wall type PVC and all there is to it I mean these are about eight to nine inch pieces here here and then it goes into the piece uh, into the 90 degree bend and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it going out of the car so it's gonna be down here into the bumper area yeah there's a lot of rust here but uh I actually made a little cardboard cut out here all I did is I put the cardboard down in here a piece of square cardboard I got underneath the car I traced it out cut it also cut the little hole for that and then uh, this is MDF. I had it left over from when I did my speaker baffles and my door. So that'll fit right there. And this will just help keep, you know, so it's not so open. Once the, the pipe is down in there, it'll take up most of it. This isn't a perfect circle because I just used the used a saw real quick. I didn't use a, one of those bits. So, but it should help keep a lot of it out. I mean, it's better than it being wide open. I don't want all kinds of crap flying up into the engine, into the engine bay. So... So I got that, the pipe, this, and then a uh, three inch to three inch rubber coupler from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever it is that you go. So I would guess that this would flow just as good as the K&N. I mean the K&N looks really big but the K&N gets really skinny right here because they make it fit here. And this one here it just kind of goes over it. It's kind of in between here. So when you look at it. gonna fit like that but if you look here it's really not that high so I shouldn't have a problem with this hood closing but then again I've never had a problem with this hood closing but this should fit fine it should flow good um, I mean this car is really heavily modified and I have the stock air box in here with just a regular you know frame filter from the store so this should uh, this should open it up a lot I'm hoping to feel feel a little bit of a difference because uh, I think those cold airs, for the most part, you're just paying for a brand name. I mean, I can't really see how the K&N could flow better than a 3-inch mandrel bend. I mean, it's not like it's crushed bend or anything. I mean, it's a straight 3-inch flow right into the intake. So, try it out. This only took me, literally, this took me 20 minutes. So, I mean, and then I painted it. So, give it a shot. This cost me... $40 plus tax. Alright, I just finished it up. Check this out. I don't know if you can see that. There's the filter. And, uh... Fits pretty good. It's pretty low to the ground. It's pretty low to the ground, but my car's lowered a couple inches. I got an Eibach 
um, pro kit. I think that lowers it like an inch and a half or 1.8 or something. I don't really remember. <clears throat> so that's the finished product. Very simple. Rubber. Some MDF. 90 degree bend. Hood closes fine. It uh, touches it a little bit. There's a little bit of dust there. This something I nicked up putting it in. I'm not worried about that, man. When you get older, you don't care so much about brand names and looks. And, you know, I certainly don't care about it. I've had K&M before. It's nothing special. So this is a really, really, really cheap, cheap, easy way to do it. So anybody looking for a cold air, you know, they're just interested in performance, try this out. Alright, I just took it for a test drive, and I gotta say, um, I got Neato drag radials on this car, man, right? These are Neato NT555s, okay? I can't even get my car to, to stick when I, when, I, when I take off, man. In first gear, if I punch it from a roll, it spins Neato drag radials. It's crazy. I, I, I never imagined that that uh, stock air box was so restrictive as it is. Insane difference. I can't believe I've been driving like this. Well, it's only been about a year since I took that K&N off and I didn't drive it over the winter, but I can't believe I ever went without it. I really had no idea how restrictive it really was. You know, you hear people say that, but until you go from stock to that, to a, to a cold air intake, insane difference. Insane difference.